so I wrote down two because I had a very similar problem to you, Jack, in that like I thought of the unpopular opinion and then I thought it's only actually unpopular if if you guys care. Like otherwise, it's just an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a number of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Nice Guys of Comedy Podcast, with your hosts, Jack Vincent and Nick Crooks. Oh, and by the way, they're from the North, that's the reason they sound that way. So, the one I wrote down was that um, I have been a fan of all of the Disney-made Star Wars films, and the reason that's unpopular is because I know there's a lot of hate for all of the recent star wars films and any of the like spin-off ones but i really enjoy them i have no issue with them right okay you guys talk for a minute this is gonna be a big debate i can see this coming (laughs) you guys just talk for a minute because the other day i watched what's the most recent one is it the rise of skywalker Skywalker, yeah yeah so i watched that the other day and me and my friend were watching it at the same time obviously not together because lockdown and afterwards she said how how do you how do you feel and well this is the length of my my review <laughs> of it um, so i'm gonna very just disclaimer this that this is a massive spoiler um so i don't like this new trio like who the f- ray poe and finn nah right <laughs> ray is a sack of shit like, she literally, <laughs> she was under the impression that she killed Chewie, and she got over that very quickly. Also, it was completely and utterly her fault, right? <laughs> completely down to her, right? Out of them all, Finn is the best, but he's a bit bland. Also, he <laughs> got with that girl at the end of the second one, and then the, that was never approached again. Like, anyway... Poe is an arrogant <laughs> cunt. Don't like him. Um, in the second one, which was The Last Jedi, I can't remember because it, it was boring, right? But there were a bit where they did summer, and if they literally didn't do any, anything, they would have saved hundreds of lives. They actually killed <laughs> hundreds of people, but because they're all... No, the cunts, right? Um, <laughs> I know. This has turned out to be much more controversial than I thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the last one there was a lot a lot of stuffing things into it like um they brought back old characters for absolutely no reason like who was it who brought back in rise who was it the brought Lando back calrissian the... why he was in like two scenes there was no <laughs> need for it <laughs> right. also the references were awkward as fuck right so Again, spoilers, I said it right at the beginning. Ray gets this yellow fucking lightsaber because Luke's is blue and Leia's is green, so it mixed them to make yellow. Also, when was Princess Leia a fucking Jedi? Oh, let's just fucking force that in again. Nah, mate, right? Fuck that shit. As well, <laughs> they seem they copied the Avengers Endgame bit at the end where, like, oh, all is lost, and then the whole fleet appears. Avengers Endgame did that, and they did it better, mate. Fuck off. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah. Also, they brought characters in who I didn't care about. Like Finn made that that friend on that planet, and then she was like a main character. And then it was like, oh, she's gonna die. Don't care. Don't know who. You, I don't even know your name. I literally had to put in my description going Finn's new friend. Don't even know her name. <laughs> um, I can't. And then that. I think that were it. <laughs> <laughs> now, so you like yeah, it, yeah. Jack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big fan. Yeah. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. I will say though, um, the solo film, not bad. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan. I quite like that, and I quite like the Darth Maul bit at the end. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you want to know, if you want to know, because uh, it's my my best mate absolutely hates the the Disney Star Wars films, and it's him. Got that... the wrong guy in the podcast. Go on. <laughs> it's him that made me aware that me liking them is a is an unpopular opinion but the thing that really winds him up is when i say just watchable aren't they just turn your brain off for a couple of hours just watch a film it's all right i will actually say right you know, i will actually say 
I then texted another friend and they were like, what have you been up to? And I said, I've just watched it. And they're like, oh, really? I went, yeah, but it's watchable though, isn't it? So I said the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I need from a film to watchable. It's all right. What I will say is my unpopular opinion on the same thing, Jar Jar Binks, not a bad character. Okay, that is ridiculous. That is absolutely <laughs> what even a ridiculous I, thing Even I said. not agree with that. I was about to say about Dave's was... Yeah, they're all right. I'm not that much of a diehard Star Wars fan <laughs> that it really bothers me that much. But yeah. you just you just pissed all over everybody's <laughs> like thoughts there, Jack. With that, I actually <laughs> feel like I've just made my rant massively invalid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. literally have. <laughs> now I don't like these new Star Wars films. Prequels, though, they were good. I enjoyed them. <laughs> no, no, no. I never said they were good. No, just the character, just the shittiest character ever made in any film. <laughs> I will admit, the, the, the prequels were absolutely shocking, but Jar Jar Binks, I, I'm not saying he was a brilliant character, but he didn't deserve the flack that he got. He's no scrappy do. Let's say. I, think, I think if he was in like a 10 minute segment of the film, probably all right. The fact he's running around and don't get killed in a massive fucking battle. <laughs> Number two, when he's the thickest fucker on the planet, <laughs> it's just unreal. Yeah, but can we just take a moment that in every single there's there's been is it eleven Star Wars films? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eleven Star Wars films. Them stormtroopers are shit at aiming. <laughs> they don't get anyone. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Is there been, has there been ele- is it been eleven? Because there's been nine main ones. Yeah, and then Rogue Solo Rogue. and Rogue One. Rogue. Yeah. The yeah. eleven. Yeah, uh, but I, I I I can agree they're watchable. Um, Jar Jar Binks doesn't get is is too hated. Um, and I obviously did not realise I had such strong opinion about the last Skywalker. <laughs> Skywalker. <laughs> I can see I Dave know. getting you and Dave getting a load of flack for this. <laughs> no, no one cares if I don't like beans. But Star Wars, <laughs> you two have hit a big nerve there. No, oh, it's only the nerds. What are they going to do? <laughs> <laughs> they will come at you with the fake lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. I've got a list of things on here that of TV shows, films and stuff that I don't like that I know I'll get more hate for, so don't even you worry. What? What? what have you got anything in that re- realm, then, Nick? <laughs> of TV shows I hate? Show there's films. A, there's like many films that people will say crap, but I absolutely love. Like I am, I'm going to put this out there. I am a big Nick Cage fan. Like probably the biggest. I will watch the shit ones that no, like Bangkok Dangerous. I'll stick it. I will love that from start to finish. Okay, here's the question though. What is the best Nick Cage film? Oh, gee. I know the answer. So it's and it is a right or wrong answer, by the way. I'm going to go with my favorite. Face off. Well, oh, that is a great shout. Well, that you're gonna say? Shout. I reckon you're gonna say Connor. I'm gonna say fucking National Treasure, right? That film no, is. No, how are you putting that <laughs> in the realm of Connor and Face Off? National. In, in in okay, in my slight defence, I don't think I've seen many Nick Cage films, so. Well, educate yourself. There's, I've got, <laughs> no, but I'm literally looking at a cupboard full of Nick Cage films. <laughs> I think I've seen National Treasure, one and two, and Ghost Rider. Mm. And you're basing your you're basing your best Nick Cage film off of the shittiest films you've watched in his repertoire of films. I'd also like to point out that I've only ever seen one Tom Cruise film. Mission Impossible. Yeah. Which just one? the one. Just the, the first film. one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I only watched it because I was like, I've never seen a Tom Cruise film, so I should probably watch one, and then I watched it and then I've not watched one since. You need to watch Edge of Tomorrow with Emily yeah. Blunt in. Oh, that is a good Tom Cruise film. Good film. Top Gun, absolutely sick yeah. film. Yeah, Top Gun, yeah. I'm sure they're delightful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the actual flight school, like flight schools, like in for the American, obviously, Navy, you're not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to say, I feel the need the need for speed because you get fined. Oh, what? Fine, no. <laughs> I'd risk the fine the first day I'd go in, i go, I feel the need, the need for speed. Right, crooks. That's a two hundred dollar fine. Fuck it, bring it on. I've got to yeah. say it at least once. I've got. I, to, I cannot come through these gates and not say it. I'd be indebted to the to the U.S. Navy for the rest of my life because I'd be <laughs> quoting Top Gun nonstop every day. <laughs> yeah. Just signing checks. Just signing <laughs> checks every day. <laughs> Someone gets in trouble and go, "Whoa, watch it! You'll be flying a plane full of rubber dog shit." <laughs> yeah. 
I don't think it can be done. I don't think anyone can do it. I think that their little tip jar, that must be a massive piss up if they use that money for a piss up at the end. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, anyone that uses them, we're going to use the money. It's going to be like a swear jar, and we're going to use it for piss up at the end. Do you think it's like that thing that no one can ever move a sofa around a corner without shouting pivot? No one can, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they can't. It cannot happen. I, I, it came up in my Facebook memories yesterday. So I moved into my flat a year ago, and we bought a sofa from down the road. It's not off the street. It was in a shop. We managed to, <laughs> managed to move the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to move the sofa to my flat, up three flights of stairs, into a flat, into one room, didn't fit, so we're moving to another room, and not one person said pivot. And I turned around and went, You can tell my sister's not here because she just said it five fucking times by now. Like, <laughs> it, no one said it. And I was like, This is weird. We've managed to do this without anyone making a pivot joke. <laughs> it happens. But I agree, it's, it's one of them things that you just can't do without. I mean, I, I, that's my only contribution, having not watched Top Gun. I've got no idea what, any, what you've just said. Well, is. That you need to watch Top Gun. That's a staple of everybody's film knowledge is Top Gun. Yeah. It's an experience. Well, I'll go on to my list of un, uh, kind of unpopular opinion on that one then. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. It's not a good film. Oh, Whoa, oh my God. Man. You're really stabbing <laughs> the knife in with these films. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I watched it three times. And the, mainly because the first two times I fell asleep. But <laughs> you you knew what was going to happen the whole way through. How? Well, you knew. Obviously, it was going to go. It's like the film has a staple of... But how? You don't know how. You have no idea. <laughs> that's the, that's the, you have no idea that it's... Spoilers. If you've not seen it, I'm going to tell you like I always do. Get a life. It's a fucking old film, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can be on your list. And, like, he scams the warden. You can't see that coming. Nobody can see that coming. I just really didn't enjoy it. I really... when Because when I watched it in college, because at the time I was going to go to uni to study, to study film, and it came apparent that I'd not seen any films. So I was like, <laughs> as a film student, I should probably, you know, <laughs> actually watch some films. So I watched it, and I went, oh, so he's gonna, he's gonna, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. And, and then, then it happened, and I was like... All right, cool. No, I just was majorly unaffected by it. So not even the narrating. Heartless reaction to. Not even the narrating. The narrating. Just the fact that Morgan Freeman was like Andy Dufresne came here and he, you know. (laughs) You didn't know the quote. No, I know, I know, but it's just I haven't seen it in a while. But it's just the fact that he's like. It's not the words, Jack. It's the emotions. (laughs) Andy Dufresne crawled through. 15 miles of shit and piss <laughs> came out smelling like roses on the other end. That's close enough as a quote. <laughs> close <laughs> enough. <laughs> I liked Morgan Freeman as a slightly northern bloke as well. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought, fuck it, I'm going to put like a little bit of hoarseness on my voice. <laughs> Get some full Yorkshire, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I- I'm surprised that you guys are so offended after one of the things I said was Jar Jar Binks is a good character. Like, sure, this should be expected That's by somehow <laughs> worse. <laughs> <laughs> Jar Jar Binks has got the little bit of fun element to him that I can see people liking. But just the fact that uh, Shawshank, man. I'm just in shock. I don't know if you're doing unpopular opinions or just ludicrous statements that you just said. <laughs> 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 Not actually on- I don't know who said this. It might have been you in another podcast, actually, Jack. But it was how he got the same tightness of the poster for the rock to go through from the other side. That definitely wasn't me. No, I, I heard it on summer, but I didn't want to say it. And then you'd be like, that was me. <laughs> but like, the poster is a tight, a tightness where when the warden throws the rock through, it goes straight through. Now, if that wasn't clipped at the bottom, like blue tacked or pinned, then it would, like, you know, rattle the poster. So <laughs> or in the film, right? There. I didn't. I don't think I care enough to really. Like... I didn't think about it until I'd heard the statement from someone else, and then I thought, yeah, that is a huge plot hole for me. See, so it's, it's not a great film if it's got plot holes. I mean, I can't comment on that because a lot of films have a lot of plot holes. So yeah, but that's just one that's like there's no other plot holes in it apart from that one. You know, he's, he's very meticulous. <laughs> it gets out. 
No, no, uh, I just it's just it just it just unmoved me. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> heartless, heartless. <laughs> you are gonna get the, the page is gonna be rife with hate for this. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Have I just made our views? Just gonna on. be angry faces. Facebook are gonna investigate the amount of anger <laughs> we're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, I can't. Yeah, sure, fine. Like, it's, it's, you might even send us a warning because they'll have to watch the video to find out why we're getting so many angry faces, and then they'll be like, "Yeah, they deserve this now." Yeah, <laughs> oh, banned for offensive comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Star Wars isn't that great. <laughs> uh, what was your other one then, Dave? So my other one, um, again only only uh unpopular if you care but i don't think That's men <laughs> i don't think men not wearing socks look as good as they think they look this yeah. is a, this I, a real I, thing for me wait, so, i do agree and not agree wait so let me just bring this back a second so are you on the basis of you think they look like dicks yeah wear socks yeah, I'm, I'm... Jack is well against this, I know. I know, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm, no, I'm in the middle on this one because, as anyone who's ever really known me, I don't... Re- if I can get away with not wearing socks, I, I won't. I, during lockdown, I put socks on for the first time the other day and it felt fucking weird. I was like, what, why is this? <laughs> Obviously, I've been going out to the shop and stuff, but I'll just wear fucking flip-flops. I'm like, fuck that shit. No, I don't need to... If you're not wearing socks with them, that's weird. Um, <laughs> But I used to go like... I used to literally wear trainers, and it used to always be tra- mainly trainers without socks. And I thought I looked fucking sick as fuck. <laughs> I will admit that there are times where, looking back, I'm like, "You did not look sick as fuck. You look fuck. You look like a wanker." <laughs> and then I've also seen people who do it now, and the certain pl- times when they're wearing it, I'm going, "You look like a wanker." But. I still don't really wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> I think just to clarify, the, the the thing for me is when people are wearing like full suits or they're dressed smart and they've got nice shoes on or like boater shoes or something and then they're just not wearing socks and it's like, it looks like you you, you, did, you forgot to put on your full outfit. Like. <laughs> See, there are the times for me where I'm like, you look, you look all right. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not just that, it's the pants. The pants are pulled like further up. The pants are like ankle height. Because you've got no socks on, it's yeah. like it's like you're the opposite of showing no ankle. You know, from like the 1800s. It's like you're trying to pull people with your ankle out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drawing yeah. attention to the yeah. fact you're not wearing. But a I sock. do agree, and I don't agree because I I only have I have one pair of skinny jeans. Now I'm a biggish bloke, so skinny jeans do not look good on me. Apart from this one pair that I've got, but I can't wear them with socks because they just look stupid. So I have to wear them with it. But I can't wear no socks. I have to wear them little shitty ballet socks. But the the jean pretty much comes to the trainer. So you're only seeing like just a little bit of flesh. You know, I'm not one of them ankle whores. I don't go around showing my ankles, you know. Not a total harlot. (laughs) Yeah. Slot. I mean... uh... Just as a total caveat to all that, anyone who's seen me or met me will know that I have no idea about fashion and I'm not to say what's good or what's not. So if you think it looks good, then go for it. But <laughs> What I will also say as a caveat is it fucks your shoes up. Right? So I have got a pair of like Nike blazer trainers that I, they're now just, because I've had them for years, just scuffed as fuck. But on the actual, where the actual big toe is, there's just a hole. Because obviously I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing socks. And obviously, like, that's just a pit where it's worn down. So like, you'll look down and like, yep, that's my toe. It's <laughs> <laughs> just disintegrating shoes since 1992. <laughs> and as well, a lot, of tro- a lot of other shoes I've got is where your little pinky is. There's, it runs away there as well. I came to the conclusion that maybe this is the reason why you should wear socks. It's just you know, yeah, better care. That's 50 pound why trainers. socks were invented. That What's is literally it. <laughs> to protect against your acid toes. <laughs> that, to my toenails a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, I actually really like that one, even though I disagree. Because I mean, I couldn't think of anything that wasn't really food, TV, or anything like that. So I actually, I like the variation in that. I like the variation. Thank I you. mean, 
people's fashion choices and stuff like that. And we all know my opinions on people with Velcro wallets, but to be fair, I think that's quite universal. <laughs> yeah. You're a bit Should... If you've got a Velcro wallet, I'm going yeah. to... <laughs> Did you have anything similar there, Nick? Um, I only chose one, but like I, a lot of stuff annoys me. So we could be here all night, you know. People <laughs> in general, you know, that's an unpopular opinion. Um, just people. Well, that is if you uh, if you remember <laughs> right now. Oh, look at me being satirical. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had a list. Uh, I actually had a list. So uh, my other one was Spider Man isn't a great superhero like he's shit well actually oh. no. I like as a superhero he's pretty good but as a, and I'm not a fan of super, I'm not a fan of Spider-Man it's not a fan of him I don't think he's the best super, I like I will have this argument that I've had this argument at work with the guy that I work with that Flash or anyone that can run quick is a lot better than Spider-Man yeah yeah like I just find I, oh, I, Dave doesn't agree look at if Dave's face does not agree with this statement. Sorry, I'm just, not, I'm just very underwhelmed by him. Although Spider-Man PS4 was a good game. Yeah. What sure. should go, go on then? Are you, are you, are you pro Spider-Man? Oh, I just, I get that, like the whole superhero thing is totally subjective, and everyone likes who they likes. But I think because Spider-Man's always been my favorite superhero since like I was a kid. I read the comics right up until like. Dan Slot's run a few years ago that just put me off. But other than that, I've been a Spider-Man fan forever. So, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's my hero. <laughs> Lots of love for Spider-Man. But I also read The Flash as well, so I really like The Flash, and I get that. That's yeah, cool. The Flash. I just think yeah. he can do more stuff. <laughs> like time travel. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. one of them, yeah. But I'm, I'm going to throw an, an opinion out there that's probably not good for me, like the superhero thing. My favourite superhero is Iron Man. And he's not even that much super, is he? Because, I mean, he's no. a genius, yeah, but his suit does all the work. But he's just so <laughs> cool, isn't it? He? Well, here you, here you go, then. You've already answered it. Dave, Who out, out of your original six, who was your favourite Avenger? Because I know mine's not going to be any of yours. Favourite Avenger? Oh. It'd probably be Ant-Man out of the originals, like out of the, the very original comic originals. Do you know what? That's not what I meant, but I'm very proud that you meant the original originals. Like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I meant original out of the films, but the okay. fact that you went comic book, I now. Do you know what? You can like Star Wars. I'm alright with that. <laughs> Thanks, mate. It's alright. <laughs> out of the films, um, oh, do you know what? I'm going to go so vanilla, but I, I just really like Captain America. Nah, I think it's cool. <laughs> Both wrong. The best Avenger, is Hawkeye. <laughs> Hawkeye. Because- because he's there when he wins them all. Is that is that your sure, opinion? Right. I've got points, right? So <laughs> this guy is going to a numerous alien invasions, robot invasions, all this sort of shit with a fucking bow and arrow. But that's has- pretty stupidity to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part of the shield, they have weapons which are way better. You know, he's good with a gun as well. They could have some sort of alien tech gun. <laughs> but no, what do you want, Hawkeye? I love that that Robin Hood shit over there. <laughs> exactly. Also, he, as Nick said, he the only Avengers film that he wasn't present in was the one where they lost. Coincidence? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Also, he can run he, with a gauntlet. There's no help <laughs> apart from right at the end. <laughs> also, he managed to take down fucking Vision. No, actually, to be fair, that was Scarlet Witch. But he was there. He was trying. <laughs> right? He stopped him for all of like a second. And even yeah. Vision looked at him with all the 100% certainty in the world and said, you're not going to be able to stop me. And he even went, I know I can't, but she can. So he even <laughs> yeah. said how shit he is. He even went, oh, no, I can't. I couldn't even try. But also, when you said he was there, that's a recurring theme with Hawkeye, really, throughout <laughs> it. He was, he was there. He definitely was there. <laughs> yes. I hope that Jeremy Red watches this and just thinks you absolute assholes. <laughs> hey, I'm Team Jeremy Red. <laughs> also, he's the only adventure with kids. Out of the main six, out of the first six, is the only one with with kids, and then they started branching it out, and our man got his kids. So like, that's fuck. 
But yeah, no, Hawkeye's best. Hawkeye's sick. I, I will admit in the first film, he spends the majority of the film brainwashed, which is a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> straight yeah. away, like, straight away, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't even in the even first scene. There's no, fighting. There's no fighting him. It's like, boom. Oh. Do you know what I mean? No, I'm, t- I'm, 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 I'm there for it. And he, he, he was, he was going to sacrifice himself, like, for the fate of the world. Iron Man sacrificed himself in every film, so that point is <laughs> <laughs> invalid. There, it's invalid behind that. The you only thing, this is how crap Hawkeye is, is the fact they give him some of the best lines in the film just to mask how shite he is. <laughs> <laughs> The most, the most impressed I've been with Hawkeye throughout all the Marvel films is there's a bit in the first Thor where Thor's trying to break into the thing where they've got his hammer to steal his hammer. Hawkeye goes up in a big crane and he draws an arrow. He holds that, like, drawn for fucking ages because he's on the phone to Nick Fury waiting to hear it. Like, no no human man could hold it, like, <laughs> tension for that long. That That's pretty super. But other yeah. than that... <laughs> tension holding man. That's what we could call it. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do i can hold stuff apart for a really long period so of time. Long. <laughs> much longer than you'd normally see a normal man do <laughs> just as good as one of the strong men on fucking world strongest man for some reason i'm getting paid by a black ops team for this <laughs> i will always be team hawkeye and that's as simple as that <laughs> It's just the best one. But let's all agree that Captain Marvel was a wanker. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Overpowered. <laughs> overpowered. And, yeah. And absolutely no reason for her to be is to exist in that in the <laughs> MCU. The only thing I don't get is they got Captain Marvel. They didn't need anybody else, did they? Because she, <laughs> she literally cannot die. But apparently she needed help from every other <laughs> superhero going. You know? What got me? What got me right? What got me in the in the, in the fucking? Do you know in the in Endgame when they're having the final battle and uh, Spider Man gives her the gauntlet and then she's like, he's like, I don't know how you're gonna get through that. And then she, and all the females come up. I'm like, she's got help. I'm like, you've got a giant stick, right? She's impenetrable. You are not gonna help her. She blasts <laughs> her head and needs no help from anyone else. Yeah, that That's scene it. wasn't needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's just a female empowerment coming out that's to make the, the the women feel like they're coming together for a one big end game cause when really like i said none of the men are needed either no none, none of them are needed it's just her <laughs> in fact she lets iron man die yeah because if yeah. she did that snap she'd they'd probably be fine and yeah it's not just that is she takes a punch she takes too long to get the gun off and takes a punch from the power stone. Now, you know, you're supposed to be this massive, powerful thing. You could, you flew through a fucking spaceship, for Christ's sake, and you not fly through the centre of his body. Do you know what I mean? Blow a massive hole through him. I just think, do you know what? R- write it better. Do you know what? Give me the, give me the script. I- I'll fuck shit up. You know what? We know the superheroes <laughs> apart from Captain Marvel in it, but still... There's no point having something all powerful in there. She's just shit, and in the comics, she fucked her son, so... <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just tip the edge. She's... <laughs> She fucked a kid, so <laughs> not a kid. He was a, a consistent adult, but he was her kid, okay? I'm just putting that out there. Uh, yeah, so Spider-Man's shit. I <laughs> 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 um, was... Oh, um... This one again, I think it's kind of going what Dave said. I think you're only, you're only going to really like, like get empowered about this if you really care. Uh, I'm not a fan of Billie Eilish. No, I don't like her either. I'm going to yeah. jump on that. Yeah. But don't get me wrong. I appreciate she might be a fantastic songwriter and all this sort of stuff, and she's done fantastic stuff for her age. Do I hate her because she's younger than me and far more successful? Maybe. Yeah. But, <laughs> 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 but I'm just not a fan of her music because I also think it's not music; it's just talking. Yeah, that's and it. I'm so, not a big fan yeah. of of um, younger singer songwriters who sing about stuff they've had no experience with. <laughs> yes, yes. Like Justin Bieber whacking out "Baby" when he was like fourteen 12. or whatever. You know, like fuck me. You wouldn't know what to do if it fell on your face. Do you know what I'm? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
you know what? a song about Pokemon cards or some shit. Something that everyone can relate to. <laughs> when you ask for that, do you know what we end up getting? We end up getting Rebecca, Rebecca Black's Friday. Yeah, that's well, that, there getting. you go. But, <laughs> but she deserved it because she's doing the right thing there. You know, she's <laughs> thinking about stuff. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Something everyone well, can right. relate to. Everybody can relate to. Even the kids are like, yeah, school's over. Thank fuck it's Friday. <laughs> is this your unpopular opinion? The fact that you like Rebecca Black's Friday? I like a lot of crap music, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I am big. I will. Westlife. Brilliant. Do you know what? I'm going to put that out there. If you hear a Westlife tune, you like banger. <laughs> you hear Flying Without Wings comes on while you're in the car and you don't turn it up. You're a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord dear jeez and then the only last thing i had i think this is my be one that might turn everyone but again i don't it, anyway i'm not a fan of stranger things i've never watched it so i'm gonna uh, put that out there Dave? Ha- yeah i've watched it i i do enjoy it i'm a big fan i like the whole 80s revival i mean i wasn't even alive in the 80s so it doesn't really matter to me but i like films like et and the goonies and it just reminds me a lot of them so yeah i like it also i'm a dungeons and dragons nerd so the fact that they're playing that is i like it <laughs> i mean you mentioned two 80s films there. i've not even seen either of them so <laughs> and you, you were gonna study film <laughs> I don't yeah, know. What films have you seen <laughs> you've not seen goonies is this a serious debate right here or what are we what are we doing what are we doing here <laughs> <laughs> it should just be me and Dave picking films that we like and making you watch them however long it takes on camera <laughs> <laughs> no not so them. I will be honest is I'm a huge horror film geek so if it's a horror film I'll probably uh, I probably haven't actually to be fair but <laughs> okay I'm a big foreign horror film geek so I've probably seen a foreign horror film Okay. Uh, that's because no one is going to quote one of them to you and say well have you seen this <laughs> No, it's, it's because I spent a lot of my teens going, I don't want to be mainstream, so I'm just going to go on the alternate. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you were against the grain, teenager. Yes. Have you not seen the picture of me with fucking black hair and sh- down to my fucking shoulders? I was <laughs> right, little dweeb. <laughs> yeah, I've not seen The Goonies, I've not seen E.T. I've, I haven't, it wasn't until about three years ago that I saw Back to the Future. <sighs> what? And I've only seen the first two. Oh, no. Finish the trilogy. Christ. I keep I think, I think if you'd watched those kinds of films and they'd been part of your childhood and part of growing up, then you would like Stranger Things now. That's cause... what a lot of people have told me, is the fact that if you, you know, for them, it's a lot of going, is, if you like the 80s and nostalgia, either living through it or just like it, you liked it more. I just thought it was a massively slow burn. And I thought, okay, I'd like to point out, I'm listening to the first season. Like, I've not watched it beyond that. But yeah. I'm just. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I think I, as a kid, I was a big like Sunday night Channel Five. There's a film on type of. I watch it at like tea time. Do you know what I mean? When Channel Five used to do decent stuff like that, instead of the crap they do now. Yeah. <laughs> My old <laughs> eight teenager, them sort of shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stick a film on at five o'clock on a Sunday. You know, get us, get us some, get some old films on. Get Roadhouse on. <laughs> that was so specific. <laughs> oh, was. <laughs> it was because I like a bit of Roadhouse. I've watch. watched Roadhouse. I've seen it about fifteen times. It's brilliant. I mean, you obviously know that I've not seen it, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dalton Jack, you've got to get into that. Dalton, he's just a great character. It's Dalton. Patrick's Dalton great. is someone I used to work with at McDonald's. Well, so, it's Patrick Swayze, who knows martial arts as Dalton. Oh, I've, not, I've not seen Dirty Dancing either. Oh, Christ. You could literally, you could literally, do it now. You could name five films, and I bet I've probably seen, between the ten films named, I bet I've seen, like, tw- two of them. I want to go Footloose, bang, straight in there. Nope. Oh, my days. Dave, go on. Uh, the Matrix, the first one. Yes, right, but it was shit. Oh, oh what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is painful. I was never told this was going to be part of the podcast. I wouldn't have come on. <laughs> I don't think Nick did either. Just, this never happens normally, dude. Never happens. Go on then, Nick. What's your second one? I'm going to go 
I'm going to go a bit more mainstream. I'm going to go, like, Die Hard. Yeah. Well, okay. that's, a, that's a big 80s film. You know, I've like, seen the Goonies for fuck's sake. But Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Die Hard's the best Christmas film of all time. It is right. Anyone that disagrees with the fact it's a Christmas film is also a psychopath. <laughs> Go on, Dave. So, wait, so, yeah, we're on two now. Okay. So, something super. Day, I've not got to see. Something super mainstream. Jurassic Park. Okay, yeah, I've seen that. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. So, we're half and half here. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. No, I've only not seen... I've seen three out of the four so far. So, you've seen three out of the four? Yeah, go so on. You're on half. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go a bit less time... I'm going to go a bit less mainstream. Dave might not have even seen it. Time Bandits. Never even heard of that. Oh, my. <laughs> Watch this back. Get a pen. Write them down. <laughs> spend all the time. <laughs> the free time you've got doing this research. Okay, so we've got five so far. Two not, three watch. Go on, Dave. Terminator. Yes. However, I only watched it very recently. And the only reason why I watched it was because my friend wanted to go see the new one. And I said, I hadn't seen them. And he went, what the fuck are you playing at? So then I watched the first two. <laughs> <laughs> so I've only seen the first two. And then I've seen the first two and the one that came out last year. So I've not seen the ones in between. Go on, go on Nick. I'm going to go one more. Then I'm going to go I'm gonna go another Kevin Bacon one. I'm going to go Tremors. Not even heard of that. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Where were you brought up? On a council Yeah, but that's what I mean. Yorkshire parents just stick the kids in front of the TV. It's a staple. I've carried it on onto my children. <laughs> no, that was brought on to me. Well, you know what? We'll go. So uh, we should be free more. I'll I'll send this to my mum and go. What are you playing at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go on then, Dave. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna expand this to any of them, any in the series, any of the Rocky films. Yes. Okay. And I will actually say Creed is a fucking brilliant film. Uh, I'm not gonna agree with that. <laughs> it, got me, it got me in emotions that I didn't <laughs> it got me in emotions. How many of the Rocky films have you seen? I've seen them all except Creed 2. Oh, I thought you was gonna say I've seen one Rocky film. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's Creed. <laughs> Creed. Creed got me emotional. I'm not <laughs> I didn't even know who Rocky was before Creed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have seen. I've seen uh, I was. I wasn't okay. My opinion on the Rocky films are a bit weird. I didn't. I wasn't like blown away by them, but I was very impressed that Sylvester Stallone could write because he wrote them. I didn't know the guy could write. Like, I yeah. was very impressed by that. One of the conditions to him um, to the film getting made was the fact that he played Rocky. Yeah. So that, if they'd have said no, Rocky wouldn't have existed. You know. Mm, didn't know that. Again, yeah. that'll be a, a pub quiz one. And I think we'll do one each again because I, I don't know where we're up to now. Go on then, Nick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. The Breakfast Club. Oh, what a film! Yes, yes. And I will say, okay, I'm on two things of this. I'm not saying it's a bad film, but I think it's a bit overrated. Uh, yes and no. I do get it. It's not one that I've rewatched many times. Um, but I always, it's, if it's on TV, I always turn it on when the bit where they're like doing the dance thing in detention, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like don't get me wrong. I would rewatch it. If someone's like, I'm going to put it on, you want to watch it? I'm like, yeah, sure. But I wouldn't be like, I'm going to rewatch it. It's, I'm very just middle of the ground with it. It was, it was all right. Well, I always say that cause I watched the CSI with Bender in it, you know, as a, as a man. He was a man. It's, it's, it's all these years later. He wasn't still a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. He'd, he'd learn time travel. <laughs> go on then, Dave, your last one. Uh, I'll stick with similar vibe and go for Ferris Bueller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> And I feel like having not seen it, the end, the mid credit scene of Deadpool made not nothing to me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that if you've not guessed what sort of film I'm normally into by now, they are probably legitimately it's, just uh, superheroes. Any films. any person in spandex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll tell I'm you honestly, that. I'm honestly a little bit worried. I think it might be part of the psychopath test that Creed got to emotionally, but Shawshank Redemption didn't. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm now questioning if I am a psychopath. Maybe. <laughs> I probably already knew that a while, but yeah, it, it, the Creed was. It, I, I just remember going. This film's quite quite emotionally like invoking, but I don't remember thinking that with Shawshank. And I would say I'll watch Shawshank again, but I don't think I will because yeah, I've already good. tried three what? times. Actually, I'll tell you, I'm gonna check if it's on Netflix right now. I will watch it at one point. I've just ser- and on that point, I just searched in the Netflix app for Netflix, so I'm obviously not doing very well. <laughs> I mean, you what have I'm reminded. Do is- Sorry, no, Netflix. Go on. Dave. No, go on. I'll let you uh, go. Jack's, would... Jack's reminded me with the uh, the Shawshank thing. I've never seen uh, Forrest Gump all the way through. I think I've seen every individual bit of that film at separate points, but I've never watched. I've never sat down and watched it from start to finish. So you haven't actually I... seen the film, just in. I like... think so. Yeah, I think I've seen every yeah. part of it. Yeah, <laughs> I can do that one as well. Uh, same thing. Might have watched the beginning. Might have watched the end, but never watched all the way through. Titanic. I know the ending. I think yeah. that yeah, I yeah. think that's one you can piece together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I hate it all, all the way through though, because all the way through it's sinking pretty much, and all I'm thinking <laughs> was, you could have ragged a couple of doors off early on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you, you find the door, you know it's going down. There ain't enough lifeboats. You, you're a scrag. You're a commoner. You are getting on one. <laughs> Build your own raft. Christ, it's not like it went down in 30 seconds. <laughs> so we're talking hours. That's hours of build time. <laughs> like scrappy challenge, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that would have been me, taking some rope off of the side and, you know, roping some doors together, <laughs> taking the life jackets off the dead people and using them for buoyancy on the raft. <laughs> <laughs> can definitely tell you're a council estate kid <laughs> i will rob the dead i have freezing in no one and on the other side is i know he loved her but he'd only just met her so <laughs> life's more valuable push her off the door get her <laughs> you've got parents at home that might want to see you <laughs> <laughs> and what did she do with her life get married? how did you ever get married no i do it for my wife now but you know in a week into meeting her Probably not. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, a minute ago, it was a day into meeting, and now you're talking a week into no, meeting. Like, I don't know how long they're on the, on the ship, are they, before? They're, they're on a few days, aren't they, before? But he's met her over them few days and suddenly falls in love with her. That might be the fact that she gets her baps out for him in, like, <laughs> the first 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal without this woman. <laughs> and the fact that she says she'll never let go, but yet she married someone else. So that guy's always second fiddle because she's, she, you know, she's never let go of Jack. So I just, I just feel it's a bit depressing towards the end. A film about a sinking ship being depressing? God no. Yeah, I mean, screw the other people that died. It's all about them two, really, isn't it? You know. Oh yeah. Fuck the rest of them. Fuck the rest of them. Hey guys, this is just a message from Jack the Editor to let you know that we actually came across some big tech issues at this part of the podcast. Unfortunately, Dave lost his connection, and when he came back, all we got was his frozen face. It's quite a nice face, but uh, yeah, it is frozen, so unfortunately the podcast does end slightly abruptly. Um, But we thought we'd give you the audio to his podcast and his social media handles, just so you can go and check them out. And on that note, don't forget to follow us at NGOC Pod on Facebook and Twitter. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Cheers, guys. So, um, once again, on that on that note, then as a bit of a roundup, then we, your podcast, uh, what's it called again? Uh, the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. And what are your social media handles so all of our listeners, hopefully more than just the one, um, <laughs> can, can find you, stalk you, and get all your goodness from? Uh, I'm at Dave B underscore Comedy on Twitter, and it's Dave Borden Comedy on Facebook. Sweet. That was the Night Skies of Comedy Podcast with Jack Vincent and Nick Crooks. Recording from their own home and heavily fucking edited. Follow the at I am Jack the end of Nick Crooks comedy why don't ya? Hashtag Night nice Skies.